My name is Caitlin Lander. I am the project manager. My name is Gina. I'm the assistant manager. My name is Runa May. I'm the hiring manager. I'm Janelle, and I'm the financial advisor. And we are Peterbilt. We are Peterbilt, and this is our business gives back project. We like to call it Mission Possibilities. Sarah was 16 when she was when she lured her former pimp into a motel room, shot and killed him, and took his money. She was molested and physically abused growing up, and she was raised by uh, by an addicted mom, gang raped at 13, and at the same age was sold into prostitution by the very same person that she would later on kill. She was sentenced to life in prison, and while in prison, she was given opportunities that she didn't have. Uh, while she was in the environment that she grew up in. She was able to get her associate's degree, and um, she would later on go on to volunteer at dozens of rehabilitation programs, and she gets an award for that. Uh, and I, I discovered a story while researching for the many juvenile delinquency um, cases, and unfortunately, some of them were here in our area, in the Dallas area. They, it, it was so disturbing to me that these kinds of things were happening in our own community. We discovered um, two areas, South Oak Cliff and Ball Springs. They were a low income area in Dallas with low graduation rates, um, low, uh, I mean, high unemployment rates, and also high juvenile delinquency rates. This is the area that we want to target. And these are the three high schools that we want to focus on, which are located uh, right here. So Grady Spruce High School, Samuel High School, and South Oak Cliff High School. As you can see, their graduation rates are way below the Texas average. With this program that we're about to tell you, our goal is to increase the graduation rates, give opportunities for these students, and most, the most important thing is to build a better future. So our program is a two-step program. We're going to have classes that are going to be held at Cedar Valley Community College for 200 students a, uh, a year. Um, they are going to be an automotive and mechanics uh, run by Peterbilt. We're going to have Peterbilt employees come by and teach the classes, as well as tenured professors that are going to teach the classes as well. The automotive, mechanics, product assembly, customer service, marketing, and then the second half of the program is a summer internship. Um, the students will go to Peterbilt for a summer internship that will be paid, that will get them out of their community and into some, meet some new people and give them some new opportunities. Um, so the dual credit classes are at Cedar Valley College, um, 100 students a semester. Um, they're going to be Tuesday to Thursday from 4 to 5.30, and buses will be provided for those students to get from all three campuses to the college campus. So the requirements for the class is they have to be passing their classes. And we do take into consideration if they are improving in their grades as well as improving in their attendance records because we really want these kids to graduate from college and to succeed in their, in their high school career so that they can move on. They do have to pass a drug test and uh, no dis disciplinary issues. For the summer internship, we picked 40 students for the, from the two classes that we held. And those students will be offered $10 an hour, and will be getting bus vouchers so that they can get up to Kinsen Den. So it's going to be a drive for them, but it will get them out of their neighborhood. Um, we give them money to support themselves and give them experience to put on a resume, as well as the classes. Oh, and the classes will be um, doing shadowing and mentoring different people from Peterbilt that will teach them mechanics as well as customer service, product assembly, the same thing. Um, this requirement is they must pass the class the, from the previous semester, um, and they have to be outstanding and that um, they make their name known to the, the people teaching them and show some initiative and as well pass the test. So we currently have 100 employees who are on board with teaching and guest speaking. So the, there's Peterbilt employees, and then there's volunteer guest speakers, and then there, all of these professors are going to be tenured, and uh, we'll also have bus drivers who will transport the kids to the college.
And then some short-term benefits of this program, just to still give students the skills they need to succeed in their job and their overall well-being. And then it will also provide an income for the families of the students since they're in low-income areas. And then it will also encourage good grades in the schools. And then long-term benefits. It will lower crime rates in the community because it's low income and um, the, crime rate, the, the crime rates will be lowered dramatically. And then because of this, the graduation level will be higher and the, in high schools, and which will decrease poverty levels. And then it will also become, like provide, it will also make our high school students produ productive, honest, hardworking students. So this is the budget proposal for mission possibilities. These are just the like, expenses that uh, we would need to cover in order to make this program possible. The transportation cost, we calculated it to be 4800 and what that will cover is the transportation for students to go to and from Cedarville. Second would be the supplies and equipment needed for the students to get that hands-on experience in the classrooms. Um, that is the tools and the machinery that are required for them to be able to carry out their lessons. And that we estimate it will be around 9,000. And for remodeling, since we are partnering with Cedar Valley College, um, we are well aware that um, their classrooms have limited area. And since we're adding more students to their classrooms, we will need to make it uh, more comfortable for them to be able to teach these lessons. And that's why we calculated it to be around 6,200. That gives us a total of $20,000. Um, but since we are presenting to you the Dallas Chamber of Commerce, we're only requesting 50% of the cost, and that $10,000 is basically the seed funding. Um, this is a program, we chose this program because it's self-sustaining. Um, you are doing a one-time investment that is gonna be an everlasting it's going to be an investment that will have an everlasting effect. Um, we don't look to make this program a one-year thing. We look to do it every year. And hopefully, um, one day, the whole DISD will be on board so that the most students can get the benefit of having this experience early on since right now they don't have the experience with hands-on. And that will make the DSW area better and the citizens will be better. That concludes our presentation. I would like to open the floor for any questions. Yeah. Do you worry about that the children will already be self-selected, like the only children who could get into the program would be the kids who weren't at very much risk to begin with? Well, we're planning to do a recruitment thing where we send like three employees to the junior and senior classes. We're going to present that at the very beginning, and we're going to try to like appeal to to all of the students. Honestly, like we're going to be, we're going to say, um, you can make money off of this. This is what you'll learn. It's fun. You're going to get to like go to a different place. So uh, yes, I know what you're saying, but we're going to try our best to appeal to all of the students. Yes, I have a question for the college classes. Because I know schools that do um, dual credit, do the students pay for those college classes? That's one question that I have. And do you guys have a partnership with Cedar Hill College if they don't have to pay for it? How is that funded? Yes, we. That's part of the budget that's going towards the school. Um, the nine thousand and, and some of the other funding goes towards the school that would pay for those classes. Mm -hmm. So the students don't have to pay for that. Well, that is it. Um, thank you for your time and your attention.